what is going on YouTube this is Acid Roots so I'm going to review the debut album by Dem Franchise Boys basically this project is called Self Titled and it came out in the late summer this project is called Self Titled and it came out in the late summer of 2004 so the thing about this particular project is this is the initial product by Dem Franchise Boys that got them their that got them their premiere hits basically White Tea in its original format is on this particular album and then the original Oh I Think They Like Me which was remixed on their second album Top of on top of our game from early 2006 is on this particular album so it had a number of hits really there was only just one single but oh i think they like me became a hit later on this is had to say about this particular product it's pretty heralded here i do like some of the stuff on here it's kind of i mean i like this product but it is kind of a mixed bag i would have to say i definitely feel like on top of our game from 2006 is clearly the better buy it has I suppose that this has more singles more affable productions and they just evolved a lot on that particular product it's just a lot better they got fleshed out they became more looming and kind of ominous type personalities that just had a lot more stuff on this particular product they're just a lot more localized and it's kind of they they these folks just kind of sound like a more crunk version of crime mob i would have to say it's the same kind of concept basically crime mob dem franchise boys some of those type folks d Farrell in some cases were kind of some of these group rap group type folks that kind of had like the crunk type that kind of had like the crunk type orientation but white tea was a pretty big song that White T was a pretty big song in like Atlanta and Southern hip hop as far as that pitch can have them. It was all over MTV, VH1, VET, some of those type places. Just did a lot of things. But it kind of labeled them a one hit wonder for a while. They did eventually come back in early 2006, late 2005, but around this particular time. I mean, I do feel like these guys were kind of ahead of the game. They kind of shaped things and they kind of helped shape things into like snap rap and crunk. As crunk music started to devolve in the mid 2000s, I'd have to say snap rap and ringtone rap started to become popular between started to become popular around this time late 2004 2005 6 7 8 some of those type pitches so it's this kind of concept about the mid it's this kind of concept about the mid and early late 2000s as far as that pitch can happen so there's just a lot of stuff that kind of happened around that particular time a lot of these albums i do enjoy quite a bit now there are some folks there would be some lyricists and folks like that Nas, some of those east coast lyricists ghostface killers and folks like that that kind of feel like them franchise boys were kind of responsible for killing rap in like the mid 2000s saying hip-hop is dead and some stuff like that but i definitely feel like this is some revolutionary stuff here it's just kind of more oriented towards more recreational type fare and less about the sheer full-blown lyricism just about more you know just kind of crunk type music and just things like that party type music house party type music shindig type music getting turned up some of those type pitches just more orientation towards like the energy and this overall execution of it more so than just like the compelment of like the lyricism and more songwriting that has supposed now it's not to say these guys don't have songwriting it's just kind of a lot more just louder and kind of more brash i'd have to say but i do like the concept of some of this and this is basically a page turner of an album especially the fact that this album came out in 2004 i mean a lot of southern hip-hop started to really turn up in like 2004 2005 this was a shapeshifter of a project and i do respect that particular concept even if this album isn't a classic I feel like it's definitely a noteworthy type one, definitely kind of one that's a page turn that deserves a lot of attention just to be able to say. Now, I reviewed On Top of Our Game from 2006 in late 2022, so you can find that review on this particular channel. But I have to say, I'm going to get to this one just to see what's up with it. And it's a pretty, it's middle of the road. I have to say, once again, it's a mixed bag, but I have to say there is some stuff on here to kind of purchase. Even if there's not a hit past White Tea and Oh, I Think They Like Me, they do have like a few good bops on here it's just the production's more stark just because this is the initial product and just the budget was lower and stuff like that i'd have to say it's just kind of the concept about it but so i'll go ahead and talk about the singles basically I, i'm gonna suppose because oh i think they like me was released as a single in 2006 i'm just going to count that as a single on here i'm going to say that there are two of them so it's white tea and oh i think they like me is so the first single is white tea this is a pretty dope song i'd have to say this is a loud kind of crunk single i would have to say this song is meant to cause fiery turn up i would definitely feel like and this is just a good explosive kind of club gem i would have to say in particular pretty good concept get that one in particular i just would have to say and this is like a retro kind of 2000s bopper of a song i'd have to say pretty nice one pretty distinct type tunes definitely reminds me of something that if soldier boy was kind of doing like club type tunes just within a more kind of group type this is very much snap music in like its earliest type format in 2004 this was kind of original as far as that pitch can happen this is a revolutionary type song just because you know prior to this you had folks like Oh, you would say like Manny Fresh, Lil Wayne, some of those type of folks. You had Go DJ, those type of songs. But in terms of like Snap type music, I don't think Snap, I really don't think Snap and ringtone rap was really around that much in 2003, 2002. So, 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 so this particular song was kind of a kickstart for that particular sound as far as that kind of went with it. Just a good concept to get this in particular. Just a real noise start, a good crunk type tune to kind of get on here. It's kind of a mixture of like Lil John with some folks like, you know, 
some folks like D Farrell and Soldier Boy and some of that type of stuff. Some of those particular type of folks, obviously Dem Franchise Boy, some of those type of folks just within that relative pitch, Jibs and some of those one hit wonders and two hit wonders. And this folks like the mid late two thousands, I have to say pretty this dope song. The beat's catchy enough. I mean, it's it's good, but it's not like a 10 out of 10 beat, but it's a solid beat, but it's just the budget is kind of lower, so it just kind of feels more stark and things like that, but I still have to say it's a pretty catchy song. It's definitely a noise hopper, just a good vintage 2000s type tune that has a lot of good affability about it. It's a nice one. Oh, I Think They Like Me is kind of the pseudo second single. This was a big ringtone rap type song back in 2005, 2006. I'd say it's like a classic Dem Franchise Boys. And this is a classic Dem Franchise Boys tune. I'd have to say the original really kicks ass. I have to say I like this one possibly more than the remix that's on the top of our game album from 2006. I'd have to say it's dope enough. I mean, either one's pretty good to get, but I do like this one a little bit more. This is a heavy dance tune, I'd have to say, and this is just good for some dance craze. This is another one that was kind of a dance craze of a song, probably one that was just big in internet rap and things like that. Just things of those pitches like when you think of crank that soldier boy shoulder lane some of those type some of those type songs it's going down some of those type ones that had like a dance attached to it there just were some songs on here that kind of had some dances attached to it and dem franchise boys was pretty good about doing that they were kind of a little bit more modernized version of little scrappy like little scrappy was good at like making the crunk type songs Lil Scrappy was good at making like the crunk type songs, but he wasn't quite as good at this. But he wasn't quite as good at getting like the signature type stuff to getting people dance and just the signature type stuff. Just the distinction of something like White Tear, Oh, I Think They Like Me, or uh, Lean With It, Rock With It. Some of those type ones that are just for more ringtone rap type friendly and stuff like that, I'd have to say. But it's still a good concept. This is kind of like a meld of crunk once again. Crunk and ringtone as far as that fish can have is some good stuff. But that's just the earliest format of some of this. So we'll go ahead and talk about the songs I recommend on here. So basically out of 12 songs, it's a brief 12 songs on this particular product, but it is revolutionary just in the sense because these were kind of before the times. This was kind of a page turner once again, so there's some good stuff on here. But out of the 12 songs I recommend on here, I wound up recommending to you six. That's, that's half the project that I had to say, so I'll go ahead and recommend these six songs. They would be White Tea, Oh, I Think They Like Me. So the six songs would be White Tea, Oh, I Think They Like Me, When Can We Date, Do You Dance Girl, Hit The Dirt, and Fight. So the thing about some of these songs is just the fact that a lot of these do kind of have some lower budget kind of productions on here. So I feel like if you're looking for more songs like White Tea just on par with some of that particular type pitch, if you need another song like that, it's just like a nightclub smash, something like White Tea, something like White Tea or Oh, I Think They Like Me, some of those variant type pitches. I'd have to say it doesn't full blown kind of have that. I do think their 2006 album is the more glossy type one that has a little bit more user friendly type stuff, just a little bit better interface, that sort of pitch, just a little bit more affable, just things of that, a little bit has more... Uh, just more kind of common vanilla type productions on there that just have a lot more just spark and electricity I has suppose but this one just has a lot more stark just kind of I don't want to say garage band but just kind of just more yeah just more garage band type stuff fruity loops some of that type of stuff just within that relative pitch just kind of more internet bound type stuff but it works within a sense I mean crime mob kind of did some of this within a relative sense but they had a little bit more crunk oriented but it's just kind of it's just kind of fact that this initial project was just lower budget. It's just kind of like the more kind of Clerks type one. When you think of the movie Clerks from 1994 by Kevin Smith, this that sort of pitch where the budget was lower, just kind of been black and white, some of that type of stuff. This is kind of like the low budget type one. The hell kicked them off. But this album clearly was a success because the budget, they, I mean, on top of our game from 2006, had a lot of good Apple, Apple singles on there. And it was just damn near a classic, I have to say. Definitely pretty excellent type projects filled with, tons of club hits and things like that i'd say definitely recommend that album but this particular album to talk about some of these like one thing that dem franchise boys is pretty good at is some of these rowdy type crunk type numbers definitely if you like songs like white tea and some of those type ones fight is a nice one so i'm going to talk about this one fight is basically like a good little scrappy like club starter i have to say a pretty good concept for that it's just an easy rowdy kind of crunk tune i would feel like and it's just a good evening outing noise for some social times i'd have to say so it's a concept about that Basically, just like White Tea, just a little bit more noise-oriented, a little bit more rowdiness, more rugged, just within that relative pitch. It's the same thing with, like, Bitch Nigga and some of those type ones, Play No Games, some of those type pitches. Now, some of these, like Bitch Nigga, Play No Games, I don't recommend as much just because they're not quite as affable, just don't quite have the they don't quite have the electricity of, like, songs like Fight and White Tea do. But I do, I do feel like in certain senses that they do have some mild kind of turn-up. They're not quite as much of rowdy party starters as, like, Lil John, Lil Scrappy, some of those type folks, and Trillville, some of them. But I would have to say they do a decent job they do have the ability to do it when the productions arrive but it's just the fact that this is just kind of low budget they don't have like real Lil John kind of affiliation so they don't really have the budget to kind of be able to I mean they have the energy the noise the lyricism and just the at the the rowdy lyricism to be able to do some of these things but it's just when the productions don't work it just doesn't work that well but another one that kind of does that like white tea and fight would be hit the dirt this is a real nice one that's probably one of the best beats on the album I'd have to say it's pretty much up there with white tea and oh I think they like me I'd have to say pretty damn damn good beat 
Fight is basically like a little scrappy like tune, like if you like head bust and some of those type ones, that's just basically what fight is. But hit the dirt is basically like hit the dirt is basically like a gutter kind of evening haze of a song I'd have to say. It's like and it's like a good getting ready to turn up type noise of a song I'd have to say. And it's like a two thousands kind of stunt song I would feel like and it works pretty well with fight I'd have to say. It's pretty dope concept to get some of these. This is what I'd say this is a pull up song I would definitely feel like this is some gutter type noise just to kinda of get within that relative pitch. It's a hazy kind of turn up type one just for some weekend type fair just sparking up a swisher in the vehicle, some pitches like that. Just getting ready to go inside the club and get some turn up kind of going. Just a good pitch to kinda of have some of these. This really works for like some I mean, this is one of those ones that you hear when you think of like a song where they hear you coming, something of that relative pitch. This is a good type one. Obviously, White Tea is good for that. I would say, oh, I think they like me. It's good for that. But Hit the Dirt's a pretty nice one. This is one that's not a single that I'd probably recommend just with the, within that relative pitch to kind of pull up to and get the get things started to be a good icebreaker and kickstart as far as that pitch kind of happens. It's a good concept for that. But then there's some songs for the ladies that I recommend. I'd have to say, so when can we date? It's a pretty nice one. This is a basic kind of one. It's like a simple and kind of bleary, kind of flirty tune. I'd have to say in particular, this is just an easy kind of bass song. I would feel like, and this is a kick. This is some good kickback. I would feel like, and this is kind of a homely kind of R and R residential satiny type song. I'd have to suppose this in particular with that one. It's just kind of one something that Bow Wow would do, something that Jibs would do, some of those type folks, something that Mims would do, just within that relative sense of just having like you know J Quan type song. This is a relative kind of kickback. This for ladies residential type fair just hangout type song is relatively boppish type sense this relative kind of pop rapish kind of kickback sticks out like a sore thumb compared to the rest of them i feel like this probably needed like an r&b singer on the hook just to make this this probably could have been a single if it had been marketed a little bit more proper but i still feel like it's a pretty good song it's kind of an off to the wayside type song just for it's kind of an off to the wayside type song for flirty type vibes just within a snap rap type sense i kind of feel like the songs that they did for the ladies on the 2006 album were just a little bit more nightclub oriented, a little bit more. I mean, though, I, I want to say that those particular ones had a little bit more, just kind of more shine and pizzazz about them. But I have to say that this one's just kind of a more homely residential type one, just kind of more, yeah, just residential and kind of localized, I'd have to say, but it is a nice one. And Do You Dance Girl is a pretty good highlight. Definitely like this one. This is like a more boppish kind of dance club too. And I'd have to say definitely pretty good concept for that one. It's like a poppy kind of alternative to white tea, I would feel like. And this is a good kind of balmy weekend gem, I would have to say. Do You Dance Girl is like a good boppish alternative to white tea, I would have to suppose. It's a good song in particular to kind of get. It's kind of one that just feels that there's just a lot more lighthearted, just a lot more do you dance girl this has a lot more lighter type tone i'd have I suppose pretty good boppish type one just kind of getting like a kind of almost pop rap kind of sense but just kind of in the snap rap type sense i'd have I suppose this kind of reminds me of something that little john would do with like play no games i want to say that little john had like a song with like that ubi chick on there called play no games or ain't no games something like that off of his kings of crunk album from 2002 something in that relative pitch i want to say maybe devin to do was on there something like that it's kind of an offhanded type one that works for like some pop rap type of feel, but I do like the boppish kind of feel of this one. I do like the Dem franchise boys has some of these dance type tunes because they work pretty well. Would have to say with songs like White T, oh, I think they like me, Do You Dance Girl, Fight, some of these type ones, even Hit the Dirt or some kind of ones, but this is kind of an amalgamation. Just different tones for different moods as far as that pitch kind of goes along with it. It's some differential type ones, but they work pretty well. It's just kind of, I mean, once again, this album's just kind of haphazard, not full blown. I mean, once again, this album's kind of haphazard. It's not like it's a dud, but it's just kind of the concept that some of these songs on here just don't hit as heavily as it's supposed to. So talk about some of the songs I didn't recommend on here. Like, I do like a good chunk of these songs on this particular album. It's just kind of the fact that some of these beats are just so poor in budget that they just are not really a thrill to listen to. I'd have to suppose there's some ones on here. Like some of these tones, like I was saying, they're kind of like fight type clones and white tea type clones, like bitch nigga, play no game, slap you with a bank. Some of these type ones just don't really have an affable enough production. They just kind of feel like this kind of lousy generic type ones that just don't have a, a good aft ability towards it. Four or five, 45s, choppers, and nines is just another type one that was trying to be like hit the dirt and some of those type ones that just didn't really have like a, a good type. It was just kind of more rugged and thuggish type pitch of one that just didn't really have a good aft ability about it, I have to say. I think, you know, obviously songs like Fight and White T do work pretty well within the relative sense when they do actually hit, but it's just kind of constant that some of these just didn't quite have the energy towards them. I feel like they were just still kind of fleshing out a bit. I just question if they were, you know, if they, I mean, them franchise boys were relative newcomers on the scene, so I just feel like their 2006 album was just a more realized version of some of the songs they were trying to do on here. It's just the, the production. And the production type fair and the affability and the electricity behind some of these was just not that engaging, I suppose. And it's the same thing with where I'm from. That was just kind of a poor type gimmick type song that just was not that affable one to kind of get. And that's the way they roll. It's just kind of an awkward type one. Didn't really have, appreciate the kind of arrangement of that particular one. So it's just kind of a thing. But to me, basically recommending half the album, five. So me, basically recommending half the album, six songs out of 12 on this particular project. I'm going to go ahead and give this album like a 5.75 out of 10. I'm raising the score just because I do like the songs. The songs that are good on here are 
are pretty thrilling just to kind of get within that relative sense. It has some good potential and stuff like that. Once again, I do feel like on top of our game from 2006 is clearly the better buy. And that's basically like a classic in Southern hip hop, I'd have to say, and definitely ringtone rap. That's damn near, I mean, that bit might as well be pretty much a virtual classic just up there with like albums like King and that the Young Dro album from 2006, Best Things Smoking, Young Jocks, New Jock City, Jeezy's Thug Motivation 101, just some of those type ones just within that relative pitch. I feel like this one is just kind of like a rookie type one that just kind of has the relative pitch of being like a good kind of reckless rookie and just a good initial kind of freshman class type hit that works within a relative sense. There's enough good boilers on here to warrant a purchase and stuff like that, but it's not a classic. The production just is kind of too poor production is just a little bit too skeletal and minimalist just to really be able to engage like for the full-blown kind of full-blown ride as far as that pitch kind of happens but it has some gems on here enough to be able to say but it's just kind of somewhat short-winded just to have to say within that relative pitch but and the social score i'm going to go ahead and give the social score like a seven out of ten because i feel like there is some social affability on here even the songs i don't recommend have some degree of social sparks so if you do like some of these more localized type ones and just more residential type fairs just some good concepts for that they do have some good bops on here just within the pitch i definitely feel like white tea is an easy kind of smash i feel like fight's an easy kind of smash i feel like hit the dirt's an easy kind of smash oh i think they like me it's an easy kind of highlight so there's just some ones on here there's just some ones on here that's just full of Southern charm and things like that. Some boppish type of appeal, some good weekend sense, some deep, some solid songs for the ladies on here. Some of those type pitches. Just a good residential type. Fair. I feel like if you're definitely looking for house party type stuff and just overall residential type fair, just for some weekend turn up and just Thursday, Friday kind of resident, Thursday, Friday, Saturday kind of residential type fair, just kind of house party type stuff and just weekend kind of shindigs around the residential neighborhood stuff like that. This is an easy kind of highlight of one. This one more so than their 2006 album, I'd have to say. This one's just a lot more localized and just kind of more low-key type stuff that this is meant for like house party things like that but it works just within the concept it's just kind of haphazard so seven social in terms of the future like i would have to say them in terms of the future like them franchise boys has not been around since 2008 and i'm eventually going to get their 2008 album i'd have to say it's a dope enough concept to get that one and then clean up the rest of their catalog as far as that pitch can happen so i'd have to say this is a highlight one that i do recommend but i do recommend their 2006 album a lot more like i said that one's a classic this one's just kind of like uh you know just a relative kind of this one's like a bubbler. The 2006 album's like a boiler and a classic highlight, I'd have to say, but this one still has some highlights, and I'm hoping that their 2008 album does as well. We'll have to see about it, but I do recommend this album. You just have to realize that it's somewhat, I mean, it's it's kind of Kate, it's kind of dicey, but I recommend enough to say this is a page turn of a project, and it's revolutionary. It's just kind of concept that it's a little bit haphazard, so yeah.